Gary Dwayne Payton is an American former professional basketball point guard. He is best known for his 13-year tenure with the Seattle Supersonics, and holds Seattle franchise records in points, assists, and steals. He has also played with the Milwaukee Bucks, Los Angeles Lakers, Boston Celtics and Miami Heat, the last with whom he won an NBA championship. He was nicknamed the Glove for his excellent defensive ability. The only point guard ever to win the NBA Defensive Player of the Year award, Payton is widely considered one of the greatest of all time at that position. He was selected to the NBA All-Defensive First Team nine times, an NBA records he shares with Michael Jordan, Kevin Garnett and Kobe Bryant. He was also a nine-time NBA All-Star and a nine-time All-NBA team member. He was inducted into the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame on September 8, 2013. Peyton got his nickname The Glove, when Peyton's cousin called him during the 1993 Western Conference Finals series against Phoenix and told him, you're holding Kevin Johnson like a baseball in a glove, and the nickname was born. Considered the NBA's reigning high scorer among point guards in his prime, Peyton is referred to as probably as complete a guard as there ever was by Basketball Hall of Famer Gail Goodrich. High school and college career, Peyton was born in Oakland, California. He played high school basketball at Skyline High School in Oakland, California, along with former NBA player Greg Foster, before attending Oregon State University in Cabalis, Oregon. In his second year, his grades plummeted and was declared academically ineligible. His dad encouraged him to focus on school, and he was allowed to play again. Throughout his four-year career at OSU, he became one of the most decorated basketball players in OSU history. During his senior year, Peyton was featured on the March 5, 1990 cover of Sports Illustrated magazine as the nation's best college basketball player. He was a consensus All-American in 1990. Three-time All-Pac-10 selection, and named the Pac-10 Conference's 1987 Freshman of the Year. He was the MVP of the Far West Classic Tournament three times and was the Pac-10 Player of the Week nine times. He also was named to the Pac-10's All-Decade Team. At the time of his graduation, he held the school record for points, field goals, three-point field goals, assists and steals a Euro the only record which he still holds today. During his career at OSU, the Beavers made three NCAA tournament appearances and one NIT appearance. He was elected into OSU's Sports Hall of Fame in 1996. NBA career, Seattle Supersonics, Peyton was the second overall pick in the 1990 NBA draft by the Seattle Supersonics, and spent his first 12 or one-half seasons with the Sonics. Entering the league to star-studded expectations, Peyton struggled during his first two seasons in the league, averaging 8.2 points per game during that span. However, he soon proved himself to be one of the league's top point guards, while, during the 1990s Peyton, alongside Sean Kemp formed the Sonic Boomer Euro one of the most thrilling tandems of all time. He earned his first of nine consecutive All-NBA team selections when he was chosen to the All-NBA third team in 1994. Peyton would go on to make the All-NBA first team in 1998 and 2000, All-NBA second team in 1995, 1996, 1997, 1999, and 2002, and All-NBA third team in 1994 and 2001. He was selected to the NBA All-Defensive First Team a record nine consecutive seasons, and won the NBA Defensive Player of the Year award in 1996, the first guard to have won the award in eight years. He has been selected to the NBA All-Star Team nine times and was voted as a starter in 1997 and 1998. He was a member of the gold medal winning 1996 and 2000 U.S. men's Olympic basketball teams. In 1996, Peyton and the Supersonics, under coach George Carl, reached the NBA Finals after winning a franchise record 64 games and lost in six games to Michael Jordan's Chicago Bulls. Milwaukee Bucks, in the middle of the 2002 Euro 03 season at the trade deadline, Peyton was sent to the Milwaukee Bucks in a five player deal that sent Ray Allen to Seattle. Peyton played the remaining 28 games with the Bucks 
averaging 19.6 points and 7.4 assists per game. The Bucks faced the defending Eastern Conference champion New Jersey Nets in the first round of the playoffs, pushing the Nets to six games before losing to the more experienced and well-rounded Nets. Payton led the Bucks in scoring and assists during the series, which included a 20.14 assist performance in a Game 4 Milwaukee win. Los Angeles Lakers, as an unrestricted free agent prior to the 2003 Euro 04 season, Payton, along with Carl Malone, signed with the Los Angeles Lakers to make a run at their first NBA championship. Payton started in all 82 games and averaged 14.6 points with 5.5 assists and 1.2 steals but struggled with Lakers coach Phil Jackson's triangle offense, which limited his ball handling and post-up opportunities. Payton provided offense in games where superstar teammates Shaquille O'Neal or Kobe Bryant could not play due to injury including a 30-point output in an overtime win against the Cleveland Cavaliers on February 4. Despite injuries to Malone, O'Neal and Bryant throughout the season, the Lakers won 56 games and the Pacific Division. In the playoffs, Payton averaged just 7.8 points per game but scored 15 points in games 3 and 6 of the Lakers' semifinal series against the San Antonio Spurs and scored 18 points to go with nine assists in Game 3 of the Western Conference Finals against the Minnesota Timberwolves. The Lakers would reach the NBA Finals before falling to the Detroit Pistons in five games, with Peyton struggling to contain Chauncey Billups who torched the Laker defense and won the Finals MVP award. Boston Celtics, prior to the 2004 Euro 05 season, the Lakers traded Peyton and Rick Fox to the Boston Celtics for center Chris Myam, small forward Jermaine Jones and point guard Chucky Atkins. While Peyton expressed displeasure with the trade, he ultimately did report to Boston and began the 2004 Euro 05 season as the Celtics' starting point guard. On February 24, 2005 Peyton was traded to the Atlanta Hawks in a deal that brought former Celtic Antoine Walker back to Boston. The Hawks then waived Peyton immediately following the trade, and he returned a week later to Boston as a free agent. Peyton started all 77 games he played for Boston and averaged 11.3 points per game and 6.1 assists as the Celtics won the Atlantic Division before losing in the first round to the Indiana Pacers. Miami Heat, on September 22, 2005, he signed a one-year $1.1 million contract with Miami reuniting with Walker, as well as former Lakers teammate Shaquille O'Neal. Serving as a backup to Jason Williams, Peyton averaged 7.7 .7 points and started 25 of 81 games. In the playoffs, Peyton did not start but averaged 34 minutes a game after averaging 28 minutes during the regular season, often playing during pressure situations in the fourth quarter of games. In Game 4 of the semifinals against the New Jersey Nets, Peyton hit a critical three-pointer with 56 seconds left in the game to clinch the Heat victory. In Game 1 of the Eastern Conference Finals on the road against the Detroit Pistons, Peyton scored 14 points on 6 of 8 shooting, helping the Heat set the tone in the series. Miami won the series in six games to reach the team's first ever finals against the Dallas Mavericks. Miami lost the first two games in Dallas and trailed in the final quarter of Game 3 before a comeback led by Dwyane Wade culminated with a Jason Williams pass to Payton, who faked his defender and hit the game-winning jump shot to keep Miami from falling 3 a Euro 0 in the series. In Game 5, Payton scored 8 points, including Miami's final field goal with 29 seconds left, to help clinch a 3-point victory. The Heat would return to Dallas for Game 6 and win 95 a Euro 92 giving the franchise's first, and Peyton's only NBA title. On September 6, 2006, the 38-year-old Peyton re-signed with the defending champion Miami Heat on a one-year, $1.2 million contract. During the subsequent 2006 July NBA season, Peyton continued to climb up several NBA all-time lists. He moved from 17th to 8th in all-time NBA games played, past John Havlicek and Robert Parrish to move into seventh in all-time minutes played, and past Al Greer and Larry Bird to become the 21st highest scorer in NBA history. Player Profile, Personality Peyton is well known for his trash talk. 
His trademark open mouth, bobbing head style on the court led to Payton receiving the third most technical fouls of all time. This, along with other factors, earned Payton a reputation as a difficult, volatile, and somewhat egotistical presence in the locker room, which was further fueled by various fines and suspensions handed out to him by team management during Payton's last few years in Seattle. However, Payton became much less volatile in his later years, and many players, including Shaquille O'Neal and Antoine Walker, have greatly enjoyed playing with Payton. In Los Angeles, Boston, and Miami, he was recognized as a psychological leader and mentor for many of the younger players. Of his trash talking, Payton has stated I never take it too far. I just try to talk and get their mind off the game, and turn their attention on me adding that sometimes I get accused of trash-talking even though I'm not. Referees and spectators immediately figure you're trash-talking. But I could be talking to a guy about what's going on or asking about his family. One of Peyton's major beliefs is that mental toughness is as much a part of the game as on-court play. In addition, all-star point guard Jason Kidd has referred to Peyton as a mentor for the way he treated Kidd growing up in the same neighborhood of Oakland. Peyton has said that his own mental toughness was developed in his days learning to play basketball in Oakland, you learn that you can be friends before the game and after the game. But once the game starts, it's all about business. No jive. Peyton has appeared in many movies and television shows, and in 2001, gave a humorous, televised motivational speech to his team during the NBA All-Star Game. Playing Style since Peyton's career ended in 2007, he has been mentioned among the all-time greatest point guards. Gail Goodrich, who played with Hall of Fame guard Jerry West, said Gary Payton is probably as complete a guard as there ever was. Kevin Johnson considers Payton certainly amongst the best ever, and just as intimidating. Maybe even more so than all-time greats Magic Johnson, Isaiah Thomas, Tiny Archibald and Morris Cheeks. When asked to classify the best players in each position of the late 1990s and early 21st century, NBA coach George Carl said of Peyton, I don't know who else you take at point guard. Some say Jason Kidd. Well, every time Gary went nose to nose with Kidd, Gary won that match up. Peyton's all time rankings for points and assists highlight the tremendous offensive contributions he made throughout his career but he is most widely recognized for his defensive contributions. The Sporting News said in 2000 that Peyton was building a case as the best two-way point guard in history, and asked if you weigh offense and defense equally, is Peyton the best ever? When comparing Peyton to the all-time greats, it has been said that Peyton arguably is the best defender of them all, and his offensive game is better than most. His defensive prowess was once described by Kevin Johnson. You think of guys with great hands, like Morris Cheeks and Derek Harper. Gary is like that. But he's also a great individual defender and a great team defender. He is all three components covered. That's very rare. Offensively, Peyton was not a particularly strong shooter but was much more physical than most point guards of his era, preferring to use his six full body frame and strength to shield defenders on his way to the basket or posting up his opponent in an isolation play. Nonetheless, in his prime, Peyton was the NBA's reigning high scorer among point guards. He is the only guard to have won the NBA Defensive Player of the Year award since Michael Jordan in 1988. Also, he, Jordan, Kevin Garnett, and Kobe Bryant share the record for most career NBA All-Defensive First Team selections, with nine. He is currently third all-time in career steals. A strong all-around player, Peyton also ranks fifth all-time among guards in defensive rebounds, twelfth in offensive rebounds, and tenth in total rebounds for a guard. Among players considered point guards, Peyton ranks third in defensive rebounds, fifth in offensive rebounds, and fourth in total rebounds, behind Jason Kidd, Oscar Robertson and Magic Johnson. Peyton vs. Jordan Peyton is also considered one of the best defensive opponents of Michael Jordan, and the two players had a high-profile rivalry that culminated in the 1996 NBA Finals. Jordan and Peyton are the only two guards to have won the NBA Defensive Player of the Year award since 1988, 
and despite their different positions, they were well matched for other reasons. Both were prodigious trash talkers, had legendary competitiveness, and as the 1997 NBA Preville magazine stated, Peyton, was quick, and strong as an ox, making him the kind of player who could frustrate Jordan defensively. Peyton, at 6'4 inches and with a tough physique, was one of a handful of point guards with the size and body type to guard Jordan. Midway through the 1996 NBA Finals, Seattle coach George Carl made the decision to assign Peyton to play defense as a shooting guard instead of his normal point guard assignment in order to defend Jordan. Though the Bulls won the series, Seattle's defense held Jordan and the Bulls to their lowest offensive output in an NBA Finals and frustrated the best player in the game. In his first three NBA Finals, Jordan averaged 36.3 points per game and had scored at least 30 points in 14 of his 17 games. However, in the 1996 Finals, Jordan averaged 27.3 points per game and scored more than 30 points in only one of the six games. In a Game 5 preview after Peyton had helped Jordan to a career NBA Finals low of 23, an NBA pregame show described the rivalry of two strong defensive players renowned for their competitiveness. In Game 4, Jordan had his lowest outputs in the Finals game, much of it with Peyton guarding him. Though afterwards, Jordan refused to give Peyton credit, saying no one can stop me, I can only stop myself. I missed some easy shots. The truth is, Jordan finds the NBA's Defensive Player of the Year, Peyton annoying. He views the, young Peyton as impudent, and he would love to have a big game at, Peyton's, expense. The Sonics won that game by 21 points and Peyton held Jordan to 26 points a Euro Jordan's second lowest scoring finals game in his career up to that point. In Game 6, which the Bulls would win to capture the championship, Peyton played 47 minutes and Jordan missed 14 of his 19 shots, getting a career finals low 22 points. By the end of the series, Michael Jordan had been held under 30 points in five of the six games, including his three lowest scoring finals games up to that point. Bill Walton, commentating for NBC at the time, said Peyton outplayed Jordan during the second half of the series, and that Seattle coach George Carl would rue the decision to hide Peyton from the King in the early games of the series. During this series, Peyton and his Sonics also held Jordan's Bulls to the lowest scoring quarter in their NBA Finals history. Michael Jordan would never score fewer points in an NBA Finals game than his 22 points in Game 6, and would never be held under 30 points more than twice in a Finals series, which the Sonics did five times. Durability and later career, many attribute his success to the tremendous work ethic and ability to play through injury he displayed throughout his career. In his 17-year career, Peyton missed only 25 games, and at one point held the longest active streak for consecutive games played, with over 300. The Sporting News noted in a 2000 article, Durability always has been one of Peyton's strong suits. He has missed only two games in ten seasons and is generally counted on for nearly a full game's worth of non-stop motion, despite chronic back pain that requires extensive stretching and regular applications of heating packs. Carl Malone was the only player to log more minutes of playing time than Peyton in the 1990s. Sports Illustrated labeled Peyton's 2003 Euro 04 season as the best season ever by a point guard aged 35 or older, with the exception of John Stockton's later years, and Peyton continued to play at a high level even as he advanced in age. In his later years, Peyton gained recognition as a clutch performer hitting several key shots during the Miami Heat's 2006 championship run. In 2006, he was referred to as obviously one of the greatest clutch shooters of our time. Off the court, personal life, Peyton is the son of Al and Annie Peyton. He married Monique James on July 26, 1997. They live in Oakland and Las Vegas, Nevada and have three children, Gary J.R., Julian, and Rock. Peyton also has another son named Gary Peyton too with a different mother. His brother, Brandon, played in New Zealand for a period of time, playing for the main away two Jets. Peyton is ambidextrous because while he shoots with his right hand and can lay up with either, he writes with his left hand. Post-NBA career, 
During the 2008-09 season, Payton served as a studio analyst for NBA TV and as an occasional substitute analyst on the NBA on TNT. He was replaced with Kevin McHale for the 2009-10 season. In 2013, Payton was named an analyst for Fox Sports 1's Fox Sports Live. Movie and TV appearances, Payton has appeared in White Men Can't Jump, Eddie, Like Mike, and also performed a speaking role in the 1999 comedy film The Breaks. He also appeared on The Jamie Foxx Show. Payton appeared on Onion Sports Dome. Charity and community involvement, Payton has made numerous well-regarded contributions of both time and money to the community. He set up the Gary Payton Foundation in 1996 to provide safe places for recreational activity, and to help underprivileged youth in his hometown of Oakland stay in school. He hosts an annual charity basketball game as part of his foundation. Payton and his wife, Monique, have been active in fundraising endeavors for HIV awareness, and Payton has lent many hours and provided tremendous financial support to the Boys and Girls Club of America and the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Payton has also donated Miami Heat tickets to underprivileged children. For the Christmas of 2003 he took 10 families from the Ronald McDonald House in Los Angeles and let each of the over 40 children have a $100 shopping spree at FAO Schwartz. For Christmas, 2005, he gave 60 children $100 Toys R Us shopping sprees as part of the Voices for Children program. In 1999 he wrote an autobiographical children's book entitled Confidence Counts as part of the Positively for Kids series, illustrating the importance of confidence through events in his own life. In July 1999, Peyton was named to the Sporting News Good Guys in Sports list. Peyton hosted a radio show in early 1998 on Seattle's KUBE 93.3 station. He played hip-hop including The Roots, Raekwon, Outcast, and Cameron. He did it for charity during the NBA lockout. Support of Seattle basketball Due to the Seattle Supersonics moving to Oklahoma City, Peyton has openly expressed his desire not to have his retired jersey number in Oklahoma City as part of that team's history. He wishes instead for it to remain in Seattle, where he enjoyed the majority of his career's success and popularity. This seems likely as the Supersonics team name, colors, uniforms and trophies are remaining in Seattle for a possible future team to adopt upon arrival. Peyton is featured in the documentary Sonics Gate, which covers the team's relocation from Seattle to Oklahoma City. Peyton is currently working on bringing the NBA back to Seattle. He also stated when the NBA comes back to Seattle he wants to be part of the team so it won't be relocated again. NBA Career Statistics, Regular Season, Playoffs, Awards Accomplishments, NBA Highlights, NBA Champion, 2006, NBA Defensive Player of the Year, 1996, Nine-Time NBA All-Star, 1994, 1995, 1996, 1997, 1998, 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003, Nine-Time All-NBA. First Team, 1998, 2000 Second Team, 1995, 1996, 1997, 1999, 2002, Third Team, 1994, 2001. Nine-Time All-Defensive First Team Member, 1994, 1995, 1996, 1997, 1998, 1999, 2000, 2001, 2002 Highest Vote Getter in 1999 and 2000, Second Highest in 1998 and 2002. NBA All-Rookie Second Team, 1991, Led NBA in Assists, 1999 Euro 2000, Led NBA in Steals, 1995-96, led NBA in three-pointers made, 1999-2000, NBA milestones. When Payton retired after the 2007 season, he was ranked among the top players in NBA history in many categories. 21st in points, 7th in assists, 4th in steals, 7th in minutes played, 8th in games played, 15th in overall win shares.
only player in NBA history to accumulate 20,000 points, 5,000 rebounds, 8,000 assists and 2,000 steals in a career. Along with John Stockton and Jason Kidd, Payton is one of only three players to compile 8,000 assists and 2,000 steals in his career. Between 1990 a Euro 91 and 2005 a Euro 06, Payton was first in the league in total minutes played, games played, and steals, was second in total assists, and was third in points. During this span, Payton also led all guards in offensive rebounds. Seattle Supersonics records. Ranks first all-time in points, assists, steals, games played, minutes played, field goals made, field goals attempted, three-pointers attempted and triple doubles, ranks second in free throws attempted and three-pointers made, ranks third in total rebounds, free throws made and defensive rebounds. Other, two Olympic gold medals with USA, 1996 Olympic Games and 2000 Olympic Games. Ranked number 38 on SLAM's top 50 NBA players of all time in 2009. Ranked number 10 on ESPN's top 10 NBA point guards of all time in a 2006 poll of 86,000 ESPN.com readers who were asked to rank the ESPN top 10 on various aspects of the game. Peyton was considered best defender by 48.1% of respondents. Walt Clyde Frazier was second, with 11.8% of the vote. Peyton and Frazier are the only two point guards to be selected to more than five NBA all-defensive first teams, and two of only four players who were selected to five or more all-defensive teams without ever being on an all-defensive second team. In 2005, Peyton was number one on the list of best college point guards of the past 15 years by a reporter for College Hoops Net. In a 2008 ESPN.com article, Peyton was named the best number two draft pick in NBA history during the lottery era, ahead of Jason Kidd, Peyton, who is tied for 31st with nine NBA All-Star Game appearances, has been a solid performer in All-Star Games, leading his team in assists three times, and in points once. Peyton had the two highest single-game assist totals for NBA All-Star Games in the 1990s. He is currently number 6 all-time in All-Star Game assists and is number 10 in All-Star Game steals. He is also tied for number 1 in All-Star Game free throw percentage, having never missed a free throw in any of his eight attempts. Peyton was runner-up to Mitch Richmond for the 1995 NBA All-Star Game MVP award. In 2006, in commemoration of the NBA's 60th anniversary, TNT selected Peyton among the next 10 players to be added to the list of 50 greatest players in NBA history, essentially recognizing Peyton as one of the 60 greatest players in NBA history. In the NBA's 100 greatest plays, Peyton was responsible for the fourth greatest play in the hustle category, passed to Kemp in the NBA's fifth greatest alley-oop, and was also featured in the NBA's greatest steals segment. Peyton has been on the cover of Sports Illustrated six times, three times as the featured cover story, and three times in a secondary role. Peyton has appeared on the cover of Slam magazine two times a year of June 1998 and March 2003. The Seattle Mayor's Office declared June 6, 2000 as Gary Peyton Day. He has had two streaks of 350-plus consecutive games played. Peyton played 354 consecutive games between January 16, 1992 and March 13, 1996. Five days later, Peyton began his second Ironman streak playing in 356 consecutive games between March 18, 1996 and January 17, 2001. In 1999, Charles Barkley called Peyton the greatest player in the world. At the time of his graduation from Oregon State University in 1990, Peyton ranked third in all-time NCAA steals and second in all-time NCAA assists. See also List of National Basketball Association players with 1,000 games played, List of National Basketball Association career scoring leaders, List of National Basketball Association career assists leaders, List of National Basketball Association career steals leaders, List of National Basketball Association career turnovers leaders, List of National Basketball Association career minutes played leaders, List of National Basketball Association career playoff assists leaders, 
List of National Basketball Association Career Playoff Steals Leaders, List of NCAA Division I Men's Basketball Career Assists Leaders, List of NCAA Division I Men's Basketball Career Steals Leaders, References External links, Career Statistics and Player Information from Basketball-Reference.com